Yo, today I'm going to be showing you the easiest way possible how to make dark melodies. And no, I'm not just going to be reversing the melody. If you know me, all I do is basically make dark beats. So I'm going to let you in on all the tips and tricks and secrets that I have on how to make fleshy melodies. Before I do anything, press that like button right now. Yeah, press it. I don't even need to say too much. Let's just get let's just get started. Making dark melodies, I feel like it's actually not essential to know chord progressions and basically music theory, to be honest. Dark melodies comes down to your sound selection, processing, pretty repetitive. They're kind of some key things that I kind of keep in your head when trying to make dark melodies. Also, I do believe it's actually easier to make dark melodies at a faster tempo. Now, that could just be a personal preference thing, but I think the faster the tempo, the easier it is to make a dark melody. But anyway, we're in 156 BPM today. And here's the crazy secret to making and dark melodies fl keys and just hear me out here okay open up fl keys and then you want to select the scale so today we're actually going to work in a different kind of scale we're in the phrygian scale now the phrygian is probably one of the darkest scales you can actually pick as you can see in b phrygian this is our scale and mainly the thing you want to play off of is going from b to c tension darkness what i like to do is i like to start in fl keys and kind of get some sort of piano down just kind of create some sort of basic chord progression that sounds dark and then once we do that we're just going to flip the sound into something else so it's not actually going to be fl keys so if we will be here maybe f sharp And then when it comes over here, let's pitch it up to C. Let me move that down. Uh, we could maybe add a couple of top notes. Let me go. Maybe go like Ooh. Lastly, let's get a little bit of low end down and pretty just kind of like high ended. So we can push this down even more. This is a fine chord progression for me, or not even chord progression, it's more of a melody. But what we're simply going to do is open up Electra X, because this is one of my go-to plugins. And all I'm going to do is press Control and C, Control and V. That sounds kind of nice. So now what we can continue to do is keep layering our sound. This time we're actually going to take a pad. And one thing that people don't normally tend to do is use like fast paced melodies like this on a pad. You really should because it actually sounds pretty sick. We're gonna mix it slightly. We're gonna throw on a tiny bit of uh, stereo shaping. I'm gonna use Gold Foss as well. Take a bit of harsh resonance of the melody. And lastly, we're gonna swamp it in reverb. Now, we are in fact going to layer the sound just one more time. We're coming into a bank in contact called Stray Light. Very, very goated for pads. Once again, we're going to copy in the exact same chord progression, except this time we're going to go for a little bit more high frequencies. So we're going to just pitch it up an octave. This pad is insane. That is so fire. For the next, like, 16, I feel like we can kind of... And then also the second pad, we can pitch up an octave. And it's going to go like this for the 16. Just like that, you've got yourself a dark melody. And it's basically all to do with these notes here. 
that are all beside each other in the scale that make it dark. I just are layered bass notes again, except I just pushed up higher octaves. So yeah, I feel like we could start doing some drums now. And of course, we are going to be using the Hood Trap drum kit. It's my latest drum kit that just came out. If you're in need of new sounds for 2024, I would definitely suggest checking this out. Before we start, I feel like I might actually just re-pitch the whole melody just to give it a little bit of a fresh feel. We're gonna put a tiny bit of delay and extra sentence here on my snare and we're also gonna drop it down to let's say like G. Honestly, the key to getting some nice bounces is just using lots of different snares. And like I said, all the snares in this hood trap drum kit are insane for this. If you do need some more in-depth tutorials on how to do hood trap drums, and I would definitely suggest checking out these videos here. I have a lot of hood trap content on my YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribed if you like it. all well and good putting in the snares but you need to remember the snaps and clap because they also sound insanely cold on the stuff That's pretty tough. I think we're going to use like three different 808s for this. So what I'm literally going to do is copy the first snare pattern that we have and paste this in for our 808. And then after this, I feel like we're going to introduce faster hats and a different 808. We're just cloning this over again into another 808. So this will be the third 808. This is the Hood Trap 808 from the Hood Trap drum kit. This is my favorite 808 at the minute. Probably just play out something like this. I'll just play from the start. Listen, if you made it this far in the video, I would appreciate it if you drop a like. Make sure you're subscribed as well, because there is some new people that are watching the content and you're not subscribed. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to see all the videos that I post. Because I do drop some saucy content. Not like that. Informational. Here's the full beat, man. Yeah, man it's as easy as that i appreciate you for watching make sure you run me up on instagram twitch and tiktok because they're the only three things I care about i'm up good luck see you later bow